All right, so we're looking at the homework from arc length and area of a sector, and we're going to look at number nine. Number nine is called a segment of a circle. It's the area subtended, you like that word, by a chord and an arc. It's the area created when you have a chord and an arc. It's called a segment of a circle. The way that we get this is kind of sneaky. We first find the area of a sector. We know how to do that. We had a whole lesson over it. So we find the area of that sector. Then we subtract something out. We don't want the area of the sector. We subtract something out. What is that something that we subtract from the sector? What is that shape? It's a triangle. Okay? So we are going to do sector a sec minus a tri. That's kind of fun. A sec minus a tri. So we're going to find the area of the sector and we're going to take away the white space. We're going to take away the area of the triangle. Let's find the area of the sector. A sec over A equals M over 360. A sec over A equals M over 360. 100 times 60 divided by 360. Ooh, ugly decimal. What do we do? Bye. Math, enter, enter. So the area of the sector is 50 thirds pi. We're not done. It wasn't asking for the area of the piece of pi. It wants us to take away the triangle. Now, let's see what we know about this triangle. We know this is 10, and we know this is 60. But we know a lot more than that. We know that this is a radius, and this is a radius. Therefore, that is an isosceles triangle with a 60-degree angle. Oh, my goodness, it's not just isosceles. It is equilateral. So we just need to find the area of that equilateral triangle. I'm going to go quickly through this. Base times height divided by 2. The height is 5 root 3. Now, if you want to do side squared root 3 over 4, if you remembered that fancy formula, you could do that as well. Ignore me, ignore me if you didn't remember it. All right, 10 times 5 is 50. Divided by 2 is 25. So that is a complex answer, isn't it? 50 thirds pi minus 25 root 3. All right. Number 13. AB equals BC equals CD equals 4. So 4, 4, 4. All of the arcs are semicircles. Find the area of the shaded region. There might be a better way to do this, but I'm thinking we find the area of semicircle AD minus the area of semicircle, I forgot my D, BC. So we do this one, then we take away this one, and then we add in the area of semicircle BD. We add in this one. I don't know, there might be a better way, but I'm gonna do it this way. All right, so what is the radius of this one right here, of AD? Well, let's see, the length from A to D is four times three, it's 12. So the radius of circle AD with diameter AD is six. Pi R squared, it's a semicircle, so divide by two, excuse me. Let's do the next one. What's the radius of this semicircle? The radius is 2, so pi r squared, but we want a semicircle, so divide by 2. Now we're going to add in this one. The radius of this one is 4, pi r squared, and we only want a semicircle. These are all like terms. That's awesome. Let's make these pretty. This one's 18 pi, this one is 2 pi, and this one is what, 8 pi? Cool. Add those up, check my math for me, 12 
24 pi. 16, find one of the intercepted arc lengths. I'm going to start, stop right there. I know arc length is L. So I know that whenever I get to it, somewhere in the problem, I'm going to be using our new proportion, L over C equals M over 360. That has an equilateral triangle inscribed with a side length of 12 root 3. Now, right now, we have zero parts of that formula. We have zero. We need an M and we need a C. We don't know either of those. So we're going to need to get creative. Let's draw the center of our circle. Let's draw an angle here. Okay. Draw. Make that angle. Now, it told us that this was an equilateral triangle. So I had 60 degree angles, but I bisected them. So we know that those are 30. It was bisected because it came from the center. So what is that vertex angle? We now have an M. Woohoo! We now have an M. Now we need a circumference. To get a circumference, we need a radius. Okay, so I'm going to make this pretty again so you don't get confused. I need an R. We're kind of in luck because when I, let me redraw this larger for you. This is 6 root 3. This is 60 and 30. X, X root 3, 2X. X, X root 3, 2x. Do you know where I got all those parts from? 12 root 3, I cut it in half, and then I did my, my um, little 30, 60, 90 trick. So the radius is 12. If the radius is 12, the circumference is 24 pi. So the numbers ended up really nice to us on this problem, even though there was a 12 root 3 starting off. So now we cross multiply, and I think we get 8 pi. That's how long this is right here. That's the distance from this point to this point along the curve, 8 pi.